Hello everyone, welcome back to Mastering Options Trading. So let's quickly review what we expected for today and how did the market behave. It was an excellent gamma move after 3 o'clock today. So we did expect a 150 points move possible, right? I'll quickly play a 10 seconds video for you. Can trigger the short covering rally as well. So we cannot rule out tomorrow once again we see 150 points candle or more on nifty right so it's quite possible that we again see big candle now so as you saw uh, it was not not that we did not expect clearly something we expected and market did give that wild move so i think options were like three four rupees also went to 30 40 rupees or more than that right so clearly uh, this gamma move occurring especially on last calendar day of the month or the last day of the monthly expiry is a good possibility please do understand that it may not occur every month but it has occurred uh, many times in the history that's the reason i expected this to happen and also the second point was i clearly mentioned today one needs to be very cautious because of uh, volatility and that's the reason we saw market moving both the sides right from down it went up quick fall up huge fall again then again recovered and then went sideways like up down up down right both both the sides so if you have traded cautiously most likely you wouldn't have given any stop loss to the market and more or less behaved the uh, as the expectation right and 21 880 was i think the support 875 to 880 that was the expectation yesterday if you see the low here so yeah this was the 21 875 would act as the support and that's the reason it acted as a support today as well and I also mentioned that this level of 22,050 would act as the resistance. Clearly, it took a resistance and then came down. And the adjusted closing is a lot below than the actual closing that was there today, right? Now, one important thing before I start with the participants' data, right? So, somebody can ask me, uh, like, there is 7,90,000 call longs by retailers. Then, why did the market still not fall down today? So the important thing is this particular data that we received at, receive at the end of the day is not that it is only valid for the next day. It is also the it is the positions created during the market, right? So maybe during the market itself, the retailers have shorted these at much higher levels. I mean, they bought these calls at high, when Nifty was at higher levels, and then the market would have fallen. I'm not saying that it's exactly that it happens that way only. But that bearishness has already been in the market, right? For tomorrow, there could be bearishness. That's the expectation. It's not like they created it and then there was no bearishness at all. That's the reason whenever we analyze the participants' data, I often say that we need to use the data only for one move, right? I generally say one bullish up move is possible, one downfall is possible, one reversal is possible, and things like that. That's because it just indicates that particular move it does not indicate what the next entire day will happen that cannot be figured out using participants data it's just to capture that one direction we would know for a particular day right that's the reason we analyze the participants data i hope i'm clear so just to summarize this end of the day positions is not just only for tomorrow on the same day as well some effect of it could be or could may or may not have happened so in this case clearly that bearishness what we saw yesterday could have been after the retailers started to go heavily bullish and then the market fell so partially it was absorbed yesterday itself right now let's start with the analysis for tomorrow yeah even before that one again one important thing i realized that i myself am not getting the notifications of your comments so that's the reason um, unknowingly i have missed to reply to some of your comments so whenever i find time uh, i'll intentionally go and search for the comments on different videos and then reply i would reply only to sensible and meaningful questions or doubts or anything as such anything other than that um, i don't think i should waste my time or your time to just respond to any hate comments or any other kind of comments which are not helpful to anyone right quickly jump into the analysis for tomorrow index futures 4000 increase by retailers but the significant number uh, is by the FIS. They have moved from 29,000 index future shorts to 58,000 index future shorts. 
so it's a huge addition of shorts so this particular factor is indicating bearishness now if retailers have not supplied who has done that a partially it is absorbed by retailers partially by dis and partially by pros however for us the fis is an important participant and this number cannot be ignored so it is indicating some bearishness now moving on to the index calls retailers have like moved from huge um, call call longs to call shots right so retailers have switched their view uh, but what is very uh, thought provoking and scary for me as a as an analyst as well as a trader mostly as an analyst of this data is this number of 56 lakh 78000 call longs and 48 lakh of call shots this is a huge volume i can assure you that you can go back and check the data never the retailers have been so very active in the options segment this is literally the scary thing that is happening um the report says that retailers don't make money and this volumes are continuously surging over the years i am not sure how it works and what really drives retailers into the options market unless you have strong knowledge and strong setups that are mostly important um this is a scary thing as an options trader i can tell you that this data indicates huge money of retailers is pumped in into the market mm, not sure of the winning rate of the retailers so my only suggestion is get strong setups and then only put your money else it will take a very long cycle to reach to a point where you actually make big money right um moving on with the analysis again so this is indicating uh, bullishness because retailers have closed all the all of their call long so it's so it, market is free to go up um both fis and pros have moved from huge call shots to call long so this is also indicating bullishness on put side retailers continue to hold more or less similar put shots so we'll see that the only change is fis and pros have kind of changed their hands so moving from 10000 put longs they have fis have moved to 194000 put longs and pros have moved from 280000 put longs to 110000 so this is both opposite of each other so it's indicating mixed signal so index futures is indicating bearishness index calls is indicating bullishness index puts is indicating mixed so really the view is not clear from participants data in such a case we try to take help of the charts right so i have marked a few lines quickly we'll go through this the same level of 22050 will act as the very important resistance not just 22050 22050 to 70 kind of levels um, will act as the resistance the 20 points range if it crosses then 22132 and 22225 the same levels i had drawn yesterday will act as the resistances and on downside 21900 and 21780 will act as the supports so what is the structure currently formed i think this is like it has fallen and just consolidated and again went up so ideally it should not break 21 yeah 21900 should not be broken as long as it is above 21900 we cannot say it is uh, bearish as of now and if it crosses 22052 then it will be interesting and on daily chart it has formed it has formed some pattern but it's not anything like bullish or ami we cannot say because it should the body should be properly inside the mother candle but it is not that way so i will just take it as a neutral sign for now no solid conclusion and for bank nifty uh, if it were to be a counter bullish then at least it should have closed somewhere near 50% or above of the uh, this bearish candle right it has just made long wicks on both the sides so still not giving conviction of bullishness but it's not bearish as well so both data and charts are not giving clear signs so for a trade i think we should focus on these levels that are going to break similar is the case with bank nifty you can just take a snapshot of it and then i think once tomorrow is done probably we'll get a better clarity on how the market would behave in the coming days probably i'll do a weekend video on weekly analysis and monthly candle formation i think mid caps are have given an indication of top formation but with a doji but again it requires confirmation all those details i will cover in the weekend video for tomorrow just be go with a neutral mind just see where the levels are breaking and then take a trade but um, not very big quantities right for tomorrow thank you all